all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video we will be talking about again the june circuits problem june circuits 2021 of hacker earth and the problem name is like a largest subset so as the problem name suggests we need to find uh, some largest subset right so there, there are some of the statements that we need to read it about and test cases constraints you can see there are 10 test cases and 10 power 4 n that is n over that is the size of the array is 10 power 4 and every element of the array is at most 10 power 9 okay now okay so discussing the problem is like a number is said to be square free if there doesn't exist any divisor of the number greater than 1 which is a perfect square okay so let us first understand this what is the concept of this perfect uh, like uh, square free number like let's say we have some square free number like uh, this 2 into 3 is some square free number and again this 5 into 7 is also a square free number and 2 into 3 into 5 is also square free number you guys must be wondering that how i can write these square free numbers directly okay so suppose a number any number n can be represented uh, like i will try to prime factorize this number n capital n it can be represented as 2 power a 3 power b 5 power c or 7 power d okay now according to the uh, statement like uh, a number is said to be square free if there doesn't exist any divisor of the number greater than 1 which is a perfect square number like you can see uh, there does not exist a divisor of a number which is like uh, uh, there, there doesn't exist any divisor of number greater than 1 which is a perfect square this is going to be like very much important so you can see any of the a b c or d if any of these numbers that is the power exponent you can see is going to be like strictly greater than one then you can easily say that the particular number capital n has a divisor which is going to be like a perfect square how you can easily say how you can easily say like suppose you have some number like uh, two power one and three square okay now you can see the power of three exponent of three is going to be like greater than one uh, if you figure it out this number it is coming out about to be 18 and 18 has a divisor 9 uh, which is going to be like a perfect square and 18 that is 18 has a divisor which is a perfect square so this is not a square free number right and we can easily eliminate this by considering the fact that any of the power on the prime factorization of a particular number should not be greater than 1 okay otherwise we will have a divisor uh, which is a perfect square of that number okay so you can you must have to check it out that a particular number n is said to be a square free if you, if you try to rep, write the prime factorization of this capital n it is going to be represented at 2 power a 3 power b 5 power c 7 power d and 11 power e then any of the number is not going to be like uh, that is the exponent power is, should be like uh, less than or equal to 1 okay then the number n can be said to be a square free number okay so also we would be given some array right so let's uh, read out the problem you give an n integers denoted by an array a you need to find the size p of the largest subset of these integers such that the integers in the subset are going to be divisible by a common square free number okay that there exists a square free number x which is a divisor of all the numbers present in the subset okay you need to find the number of such square free number for which there exists a subset okay so let us say that we have some number of uh, number of integers in the array like a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 and up to a6 okay now you need to find out the largest subset of size uh, that is largest subset uh, what is that i don't know you need to find the size of the p which is going to be largest subset of these integers such that all the integers in the subset are going to be divisible by common square free number you can see let's say that if you try to prime factorize this a1 also this a2 and also this a3 and also this a4 and also this a5 all these numbers that is you need to try to prime factorize this number you can see that uh, let's say we have some if on prime factorization of this a1 you have some 2 2 power a 3 power b and 5 power c and so on and again this uh, this will have something 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 and this will have something something you can see that uh, for prime factorization of this a1 you will have some certain prime numbers you are going to get on prime factorization 
you can see that uh, a number is said to be a square free number if uh, it has only the that is the exponent power should be like uh, less than equal to 1 okay so if you try to prime factorize this a1 the square free numbers will come out to be either 2 either come out to be like 2 into 3 or will come out to be like 2 into 5 or only 3 or 3 into 5 or and so on okay so the least possible the optimal way is to consider only a single digit that is 2 okay so we need to find the largest subset of p uh, largest subset of p such that this uh, that is the common square p number that is going to uh, divide this a1 must also be dividing the all the numbers present in the chosen subset okay so the best way to consider only a single number that is 2 and a single 3 and a single 5 okay that is i am trying to say that find out the what if uh, we will say that we have some prime factorization uh, if we try to find out the prime factorization of this a1 it is 2 power a 3 power b 5 power c and a2 has also some prime factorization a3 has also some prime factorization and so on then let's say we will try to find out if 2 is a square free number as it is obvious then what are the numbers present in this array that is going to be, be divided by the this square free number 2 okay so let us say to the number of numbers is going to be uh, from the array that is being divided by 2 2 is a square free number let's say it is x and 3 is also y and 5 is also something z and we are, we have some some we have many more numbers and we need to find out the maximum value among x y z w and all the all that stuff okay so our answer p is going to be like max of all the that is number of uh, uh, numbers being divided by a particular prime number okay so let's head over to the code to understand what is being happening over here because i think the analyzing through code is like best one you can see i have just taken all the numbers first then for every number i will take a num as vi and i first have done this prime factorization technique you can see over here and you can see one thing also that i have taken map of ll comma vi that is ll is going to denote the number that is this prime number and vi is going to denote that which index from the array that i am taking this number that is this square free number is going to lie uh, in which uh, like which of the elements of this array and i need to store the index you can see that on prime factorization if boo is coming as true it means that this uh, this particular prime number is going to exist in my current number num okay that's why i have taken this mp of j dot pbi entry of this uh, number into the like adjacency list of my current prime number g okay so this is all about the prime factorization my answer will be like as i've already said maximum of all those powers like 2 power x uh, that is 2 comes uh, that is let's say 2 comes in a2 also a3 also and 3 comes in like a4 a5 a6 also in a2 then the size of 3 is coming out to be 4 and 2 comes in a2 and a3 then the x will come out to be only 2 i need to find out the max of x y z w and so on which is basically max of uh, this answer one is going to denote the first answer max of this it dot s dot size that is uh, this two let's say map of ll comma vi that is the entry of this some prime number and whatever the indices of the arrays where this uh, uh, this number prime number is going to lie in that one because this prime number is a common square free number and this is going to divide all those indices that is going to be stored in the entry of my current map okay so i will just find out the size and i will find out the maximum answer one okay now this is all about you can see for maximum for getting this answer two okay now let's try to understand how the, my second element second thing second answer what is the second answer also you need to find the number of such square free numbers for which there exists a subset of size p such that every integer in the subset is divisible by that square free number. Let's try to understand how this answer is going to come about. Okay, so you can see that our map is like storing some prime number. And let's say it is store, that is this 2 is a prime factor of all those numbers uh, of the array. Let's say the numbers of this array is like a1. 
or a2 a3 and let's say a5 and 3 is also coming about like uh, 3 is also prime factor of a1 a2 a3 a5 let's say and uh, let's say 5 is also coming for the arrays like a4 for the that is for a4 a4 that is 5 is a prime factor of this a4 and let's say 7 is also a prime factor of this a4 and let's say 11 is also a prime factor of uh, a4 and a5 and let's say 13 is also a prime factor of this uh, a4 and a5 let's suppose that these uh, these are the entries and you can see my answer one is like uh, max of this size this size is 4 this size is also 4 this size is 1 this also 1 this also 2 and this also 2 my answer one is coming out to be this 4 this 4 this is our answer okay so this uh, it is like maximum largest subset p that uh, a particular common square free number is going to la uh, divide all those numbers present in that set you can see 3 is also a divisor of a1 3 is also a divisor of a2 3 is also a divisor of a3 3 is also a divisor of a5 and 3 is also a common square free number this is going to be important now the thing is like uh, uh, we need to find the number of such square free numbers for which there exists a subset of size p okay now you can see that uh, there is uh, that is maximum answer is coming out to be 4 and what are the square free numbers that is going to give this maximum answer as 4 we need to find out the total thing right as i've already said the concept of the square free number is like taking either uh, that is 2 or uh, that is 2 power 1 or 3 power 1 or a combination of uh, let's say or uh, one more thing 5 power 1 or a combination of 2 power 1 3 power 1 or a combination of 2 power 1 5 power 1 or a combination of 3 power 1 5 power 1 these that is uh, these are the, all the possibilities like taking or you can also take one more thing 2 power 1 3 power 1 5 power 1 the exponent must not increase uh, that is exponent should be like at most 1 okay you can see that uh, the size is coming out to be 4 for 2 square free numbers 2 and 3 then what are the number of square free numbers how we can calculate that okay you can see that uh, there are uh, like uh, how i can explain that okay so okay now for all those like for all those uh, same numbers you can see that uh, 2 has the respective indices of a1, a2, a3, a5 3 has also respective indices of a1, a2, a3 and a5 it means that you can just club 2 and 3 and find out some respective square 3 number how? you can see that if you take 2 power 1 and 3 power 1 the number is coming out to be 6 6 is also a square 3 number and 6 is also a divisor, 6 is also a factor of all those numbers like a1, a2, a3 and a5. Okay, you need to find out total number of square free numbers, right? So you need to find out the combinations. How to find the combination? Okay, so let me move, head over to the next page. Suppose 2 represents some set of indices and the, some, this set of indices is x and 3 is also representing some set of indices. It is also x and 5 is also representing a set of indices x it means that 5 is the prime factor of these numbers presented over these indices so uh, if you club 2 power 1 3 power 1 and 5 power 1 that is for any combination of 2 power 1 3 power 1 and 5 power 1 is going to give us the answer right so what is the basic logic of doing such thing okay so you can see that there are only three numbers right so what I am going to do is choose any one number that is from all the three numbers that have same respective set of indices any one number that is either 2 either 3 or 5 that is if I will choose only 2 this is also a square free number choose only 3 this is also a square free number choose only 5 this is also a square free number and choosing any of the numbers will have the respective set of indices as x and it is also the size of this x is a is of answer 1 right as I have already calculated so my total combination will be 3c1 that is number of same number 3c1 or 3c2 any two numbers that is 2 3 2 5 or 3 5 or any three numbers so if you notice this thing it is basically 2 power 
number of uh, numbers that have the same respective set of indices into minus 1 this is my answer i need to do for all those uh, numbers which have same respective set of indices okay so this should be our answer if you look over the code what i have done is like first initially map is going to map some prime number and the respective set of indices now uh, we have already got the answer one this is our p capital p now i have just to find out another map i'm just making out another map and first i will iterate in my original map and i will sort first on the sort all the respective set of indices because uh, so there might be case that the indices are present randomly so if i will sort all the indices are present in a sequence manner and if my answer one is exactly matching with my current size it means that the set of indices like this one that is you can see answer one is coming out to be four and this is also giving four and this is also giving four right so i'll figure it out if answer one is matching with this my current size i will increment its entry that is m of it dot s by one and this is basically you can see that uh, if two is giving the same set of indices three is also giving the same of set of indices i will just increment the count of uh, that is this set x this set x is given by which square three number it is giving by 2 3 and 5 so x have the count of 3 okay so my answer would be like 2 power 3 minus 1 you can see 2 power uh, the value of x which is 3 3 minus 1 so i will just increment its frequency and finally i will just iterate in m map and increment my answer as answer 2 plus equal to power of 2 comma it dot s minus 1 this will be our answer 2 Okay, so let me just submit this code and check it out if this is going to give us a valid solution or not. I think my internet connection is stable. Yes, it is good. Yes, you can see the test cases are passed. You need to find out the total set of combinations, right, for finding out the answer to. Okay, so summarizing the fact that we need to find out the largest subset of these integers. You can see that a square free number can be any of the numbers. Uh, on time factorizing a particular number any of the uh, prime number has must not have it have the power of greater than 1 so every power is 1 and you need to find out the largest subset p so the common square free number should be have the should have the prime factor uh, exactly uh, prime factor of like 2 3 or 5 7 like that okay and you need to find out the largest subset p you need to check it out if this prime number is occurring in whichever which set of indices okay so like uh, 2 is occurring over these set of indices and 3 is occurring over these set of indices you need to find the maximum size and then you need to find which square free numbers it exists so you need to find out this combination x and x and for this x you our answer would be like 2 power the value of this x minus 1 if you have some y y has the some certain value then your answer will be increment by 2 power that certain value minus 1 all the set of combinations you are going to choose this is going to give us a valid answer okay valid square free numbers this will form a valid square free number and it has the set of indices exactly same as the only one set of indices okay so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and to subscribe to youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video